Hello and welcome to What the Hey, where I'm your regular host of What the Hey, and today on What the Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my magical notebook of knowledge, I see the question of What the Hey is Malta? Now this question was asked by Alex Dingley, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. I'm also, I don't know why, like super just like happy today. I have hot chocolate. I'm like wearing a new shirt I got. I like it. Um, and then it's raining outside and I love the rain, so I'm super excited. I, I don't know. I'm just in a good mood today. I freaking love hot chocolate. Mm, hot chocolate all the time. It's fantastic. But anyways, in terms of a basic description, Malta is known as a southern European island country. The capital of Malta is Valletta, and the main language in Malta is Maltese, which I thought that was like the breed of dog, but no, it's, it's the actual language. According to the most recent research, the population of Malta is around 500,000, which doesn't seem a lot to me, um, but I'm sure it is actually a lot when you compare it to other, like, European countries. So there we go. There's some information on that. And the area of the country itself is 122 square miles. I'm not sure what that is in like kilometers and stuff, but there it is in miles because that makes somewhat sense to my um, American brain. The current president or leader of Malta is George Vela. I think I said that right. Um, I, I like his pictures. He looks like a nice dude. I, I mean, I'm not in Malta, so I don't know about that. But there's the president. I believe there's also a prime minister, but that's the president. In terms of some other information about Malta, the main religion of the country is Christianity. I believe that also, like, groups in with, like, uh, Catholic, uh, Catholicism, basically. Uh, but Christianity, as far as I know, is the main one over there. In terms of the main currency that is used in Malta, the euro is what they use over there. I actually have had some experience with using um, the European like currency of euro. Like that's the main one as far as I'm concerned. Um, Cause I went over to Europe and I got to use it and I actually still have some for like tourist reasons because I thought it's cool. Uh, but euro is the main currency. The most common plant in Malta is the olive tree. There's a lot of different trees and plants over there, but apparently the olive tree is the most common. Most countries have a national flower and Malta's happens to be the rock century. It kind of just looks like a purple little hairball. I like it, like a purple sea urchin kind of. I know that's not what it is, but you know, it kind of looks like that to me, but the rock century. And like most other countries, Malta has the national animals, the bird being the blue rock thrush and the pharaoh hound. Both are really pretty and both are really cool, but those are some national animals for you. The country motto is strength and consistency, which I actually think is a pretty good one. So good motto, Malta. Very nice. In terms of tourism, apparently Malta is known for its like medical tourism. I don't feel like that's like something I would go for, but there you go. There's also apparently pictures of like beaches and water and stuff, so you know, water, let's go! In terms of settlement, people believe that like Italian farmers settled Malta back in like the BC era, so there's some history for you. I didn't go into it like really deeply, but there's a little bit of history and foundation for you. So those are all of the basic facts about Malta, the ones that I consider to be like fun and just like interesting and educational. I'm sure there's so much um, other stuff to like learn about Malta, but those are the basics. Um, in general, I have no beef with Malta, so let's go Malta. I mean, the only slight beef that I have is that Malta's flag kind of looks like Poland's um, a little bit color wise, but like a lot of countries do that, so it's fine. But that's essentially the answer to the question, so if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to answering them as soon as I can, so thank you so much for watching. Bye.